just a few couple more small changes in here. So I'm gonna hit the comma key, go in here to project, and we're gonna open up a little bit more of a complex project. We're going to demo projects here. We're gonna open up this rifle model, Z project. And we're gonna go over here to subtool, and I'm just gonna do a quick merge visible. So that's gonna spit out a new copy of this with everything all merged in here. We'll turn on polyframe and switch this material over here to skin shader four. So one thing it updated is you can go through here, you can hold down control shift, and just like you could before, you can hold down control shift and select a, a, a poly group. So anytime you control shift, click a poly group, you can go ahead and select it. Another thing you can do is you can hold down control shift and you can grab a little piece of an object and then do control shift A and that'll visibility grow all. So any object that is vert welded to the piece that you uh, selected, it will go ahead and grab it. So like, you know, this one split up into different poly groups. So I'm gonna hold down control shift and select it. And it's like, well, you can select that poly group and then do control shift A. And actually that poly group is all over the place, you know? So, you know, I hold control shift, click this object that's actually associated with these two separate parts. So control shift A grabs a bunch of different pieces. In that instance, I may need to go in here and hold down control shift, grab a little piece, just grab a few polygons off that one, control shift A, and that's visibility. So down here, Underneath visibility, that's grow all, and that's control shift A. Underneath that, you're gonna see grow to poly groups, and that's control shift Q. So what that's going to do is if you just select, uh, you know, a couple polygons from this little object here, and then do control shift Q, that's going to visibility grow to all poly groups. So that's gonna to grow to the poly groups that you had selected. In this case, we only had one poly group selected. So if you hold down control shift and tap, you're gonna see it just grabbed that one poly group that was there. If I grab these three, the green, the blue, and the orange, right here and then do control shift Q. That's gonna grab all the poly groups associated. So all the orange, all the green, all the blue. And because we had some duplicate poly groups in our model, uh, it went ahead and grabbed those too. So that's just another way for you to quickly uh, grow uh, a visibility selection. So remember you can hold down control shift and select a poly group, or you can hold down control shift in between two poly groups and select those and it'll grab both of those or you can hold down control shift and use a visibility selection to grab multiple poly groups and then do control shift again, grow to poly groups, control shift Q, and it'll grow all that entire selection. Now this, when you do grow to poly groups, as of this recording, uh, it's not gonna grow to contain poly groups, it's going to grow to all poly groups in your scene. Whereas visibility is just gonna hold the E, hold down control shift and then do control shift A for grow all, that's only going to grow to vert welded points. So anything that those, those verts that you have uh, visible are connected to, it'll go through and go do 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 and just grab everything associated uh, with those verts. And one more change, let's go ahead and turn the polyframe back on. So if you know about the Z modeler brush, that's basically B, Z, M. In the old days, you can see there's a little one up there. That means there is a, a shape, an insert mesh shape associated with this. And there's in this instance, an insert nano mesh shape. Um, so for instance, if we go in here to B, I brush insert and you grab any of these, let's say IMM primitives, you're gonna see this little, this little pop down will come and you can go through here and you can select different points or different parts. You can go through here and you can say select this one, drag it out, that's an IMM brush. You can hit W to bring up your gizmo and you can actually swap through these different shapes if you want to. However, the reason this little area pops down in the brush is because we have multiple, we have more than one. If we go to B, Z, M, you're gonna see it just has one shape associated. If you wanna see that shape, all you gotta do is hover over a face and do insert nano mesh in this case, let's say poly group all, we just click and pull and you're gonna see that shape is actually just a cube. But since there's only one, so one shape associated with this brush, it's not gonna bother pulling down that entire section up here just to show you one shape. There's the shape right there. So again, any insert mesh brush, like this one, if you do BI brush insert cylinder, it's not gonna show you the shape of the cylinder, it's just going to uh, be there. Now, if we go back and say BI brush insert, and again, we'll just grab uh, IMM and primitives and this little pull down thing here, you can go in here to your preferences interface. There's an IMM viewer and you can say, you know, you can turn off auto show and auto hide. So if you never want to see that ever, you just turn that off and then go in here to config, store config, and that'll save that every time you start up ZBrush. Uh, if you do want to show it, but you want to have it not at the top, you can grab this placement and you can move it over here to the right side, the bottom or the left side. So whatever, uh, you want, however you want to see it, you can uh, also make that change there as well.